Fit Fam, and welcome to my channel. I'm Holly of Renewal Fitness Coaching. Are you building a home gym, but you're not quite sure where to start or what items are really essential for a good workout space? Then stick around for this whole video because I'm going to show you the essentials and some of the nice to haves for a really good workout space in your home. So let's go ahead and get you geared up for your new home gym. All right, so one very key piece of equipment to have and to start with is good flooring. You need to make sure that you are protecting your floors, whether they're wood floors or carpet or tile, especially if you're gonna be using heavy weights. This also helps to keep them clean as well. So one of the best things you can get is some sort of puzzle mat type of flooring or foam floor. So these are puzzle mats where if you can see the seam right here, they break apart so you can use it to fit any space, these can even be cut, so if it doesn't perfectly fit your room, you can kind of cut them up into little pieces. Here's a backside to show you a little bit better what it looks like. So these are perfect to customize your space. Another thing, especially if you're working with a smaller space and maybe you don't need to cover the whole floor, is something like this foldable mat. So this can be stretched out and folded up when you're done, which is really good if you're doing things where you're gonna be on your back, doing core work, or you need joint protection especially, but also good for standing on and doing a variety of workouts if you've got a little bit smaller space. A yoga mat is also another thing that you can use if you're just doing short, quick, simple workouts and just need a little bit of protection. Another thing you will definitely need are some weights. So I love to have a couple of different options of dumbbells at home. So a few different weights, such as we have an eight pound and a 10 pound here, so you can use them for different exercises because obviously different muscle groups need different amounts of weight. Another thing that's really nice to have is adjustable weights. These are perfect if you don't have a huge budget or tons of space. These ones, you just click the proper weight that you want. So you can see you have all the way up to, I think about 50, 55 pounds and they adjust as you go. So it's perfect, they just take up a tiny little bit of room and you have a huge variety of weights. Another thing I recommend to pretty much every client is resistance bands. So these are great if you're short on space as well as budget, but I also love to have them in addition to dumbbells and other ways just to give a little bit of variety and more options for what you can do and different ways to work your muscles. Now these ones are my favorite kind. These are adjustable resistance bands. So there are some where the handle is actually attached, but these ones you can take the handle off and then combine the weights. So these are perfect if you especially are stronger and you need heavier weights. You can attach two bands onto one handle to give you a whole bunch of resistance. So this set right here, I think comes with four or five bands. So you can stack them all together for a ton of weight, or you can just use one, one of the smallest ones, depending on what you need. So they're just super versatile. They work, you can work pretty much any muscle group with them. And these ones also come with a door anchor, so you can put it in a door, which opens up tons of more exercises that you can do. And it comes with an ankle strap, so it allows you to work out your legs as well as your upper body. Another piece of equipment I really like is a stability ball or an exercise ball. So these are really nice for any type of core exercise. You can do squats with them. You can use it to stretch out your body. So if you're a beginner, it might not be an essential, but it is really nice to have. And if you're a little bit more advanced with your core workouts, then it's definitely helpful to take your core workouts to the next level and provide a much greater challenge. But it's also good for beginners because of the instability. It really helps to get your body working together, improve the nervous system, improve your balance, so that as you get stronger, your core, your balance, and everything will be stronger and you'll be able to get fit a little bit faster. A bench of some sort is also really great to have. These are obviously good for things like the chest press, but they can also be a multi-purpose tool for things like step ups and core workout and support when you're doing things like back rows. Uh, this one in particular actually can be tilted. This enables you to be able to actually sit on the bench so you can do incline presses. There's a lot of variety just in a bench like this. So benches can be very helpful, especially if you're into some of the heavier weight training. And then sometimes when you're at home, it can be a little bit of a challenge to work out your back, especially if you don't have heavy weights. 
So I highly recommend some sort of pull-up bar or TRX suspension system. So here's an example of ours. We've got a pull-up bar right here, which is also used for rock climbing grip strength. And then we don't have a TRX system, but we do have these rings. So these are attached and hang down this way. And then these can be used very similar to a TRX. And these are great for pull-ups and learning pull-ups. Now, if you're a little bit on the fitter side of things, and I love to have something like a box or an aerobic step or some sort of BOSU half stability ball type of trainer. So an aerobic step is great for people who are a little bit more beginners starting out because you can usually vary the height and it's good for kind of faster movement aerobic type of exercise as well as working on some single leg exercises. A plyo box can be great for people who are a little bit more athletic and you can do things like box jumps. And then the BOSU trainer can be used by just about anyone. I love using this with beginners, but also with advanced people. This gives you a lot of variety in stability training and plyometric training, even strength training. So there's a lot you can do on this and it's really helpful in incorporating just a little bit of cardio or kind of high intensity bursts of exercise. Speaking of cardiovascular activities, sometimes I know that can be a little bit of a challenge at home. So a jump rope can be your best friend. This is an incredibly simple, cheap, small piece of equipment that packs a punch in terms of plyometrics and cardio activity. Usually just a minute or a couple of minutes on these and you can get a really high heart rate, a nice little sweat on, and it's also great for warming up and for athletic performance. Another piece of weight equipment I love to have on hand are kettlebells. So these kind of like dumbbells come in a variety of weights. So you can get, I usually like to get maybe a couple of smaller ones and maybe one or two heavier ones. That way it gives you a lot of options. So you can use it for very simple things and lighter exercises, but you can also use it for things like heavy squats when maybe you don't have a big barbell or a heavy enough weights. These are also really good for mobility training, power training, you can do so many things with kettlebells. So these are a really great one. Again, if you don't have tons of space, these can do quite a bit and be very versatile. And then I know a lot of people might not think about stretching and rolling out your muscles as a priority, but it should be. And so one of the other essentials would be a foam roller. Again, these come in many varieties. You can get them like this. You can get them with ridges and bumps on them to get in a little bit deeper. You can get smaller rollers. You can get handheld rollers. You can even get things like tennis balls and lacrosse balls to help work out the knots in your muscles. But these are really nice to have for after your workout and before your workout when you're feeling that tension and those knots and some of the pain that comes from working out. These will help get rid of most of those in a pretty short period of time. So make sure that you've got a foam roller on hand all times. All right, so we've covered the 10 essentials. Now we're gonna move on to three items that are more of a get if possible item. So these are really good to have if you've got the space and the budget, and especially if you're looking for heavier strength training and really looking to transform your body with bigger weights. So some sort of squat rack or power rack is really nice to have for doing squats, chest presses, lap pull downs, tricep push downs, all types of exercises. So if you can afford something small, and these can be found on things like Craigslist and eBay at pretty affordable prices or garage sales, can be really nice if you're a little bit more into the heavier weightlifting side of things. Of course, along with this rack, you would want a barbell. Without the barbell, this rack really isn't gonna do you a whole lot of good. So try and get some sort of Olympic barbell. You can also go for something a little bit smaller if you need to, and maybe you don't have the rack more of an easy bar, a smaller, shorter, and lighter bar that you can also put some of your weights onto. And speaking of weights, plates are gonna be very important. Of course, if you have a bar, you need plates. So make sure that you get a couple of different varieties of like we have over here, you can see a two and a half, tens, we've got 35. So a good variety of weights that you can use in order to challenge those muscles. And the last thing that's nice to have is some cardio equipment if you can. So you can see we have a rower here. It's a great way to get in a warm up, do cardio bursts, and get in a little bit of cardio at home. 
Additionally, of course, if you have the space, something like a treadmill or an elliptical trainer is really nice to have at home. All right, so we're almost there, just five more items to go, and these are gonna be your nice to have. So these are good if you just have a little bit of extra space and budget and want to vary up your workouts a little bit. These will just help keep things interesting and challenge your muscles in new ways. So the first one is gonna be a dumbbell rack. If you have a variety of weights laying around, you don't have the adjustable weights, then having a rack can be very helpful to keep things organized and avoid tripping over weights and making mess and keeping things organized. The next one would be ankle weights. So these are a five pound ankle weight. You can also get them smaller, but these are kind of nice to have for glute exercises, hip exercises, and even adding to your strength training workouts, depending on how strong you are. So this can add some nice variety into your workouts. Core sliders are a really nice tool to have, especially if you have some slick flooring or carpet where these move really easily. These are amazing for core workouts, and I have a different video on that that you can check out with a full core slider workout. Very simple, very small, but they pack a punch in terms of serious core burning and workout. There's so much you can do with these little things, including some arm and leg workouts. So these are really nice if you're short on space. Then an agility ladder can be really fun, and this can go outside too. It doesn't necessarily have to just stay in the house. This can kind of be fun to take to a park or outdoors. I'm not gonna take the whole thing out because it turns into a mess, but one of these ladders where you've got all the rungs laid out and you can do all sorts of athletic type training. These can be good if you or kids are in soccer or football or anything where you need quick footwork. I actually also like to use these with some of my a little bit older clients to help them a little bit improving on their agility and their balance. So you can make these very high intensity workouts with the agility ladder or very simple and safe, but in a way that's really gonna help your body to stay mobile and agile and sharp. So that can be a really fun tool to use and it feels a little bit more fun than just running or jump roping or some of those things sometimes. And then medicine balls. So these are really cool to have, again, maybe in a variety of weights if you can get a few of them. Again, really good for core exercises, but these are also nice if you don't have a lot of big heavy weights because these can be held in place of dumbbells uh, for things like squats or deadlifts or shoulder presses. There's a lot of different things you can do with these. And you can also use them in more dynamic exercises like wall balls and wall slams and floor slams. So a lot of fun different things to incorporate with medicine balls. So there you go. We have now gone through 18 different pieces of equipment that are great to have in a home gym. And you can kind of vary and pick and choose from depending on what your needs are, what your space is like, and what your budget is to get your perfect home workout. Most of the equipment in this video, FYI, is from ProSourceFit.com. So all the things like the resistance bands, a lot of the dumbbells, all those little things I showed you, like not the big equipment, but the smaller pieces, you can get those at their website. I will put the link in the description and you can use my code, which I will always also put in the description for a 10% discount when you purchase from them. I hope this helps you feel ready now to create your own home gym and have success working out at home. If you need any help with your training or with your nutrition and health, then please contact me. I love to help. My contact is renewalfitcoach at gmail.com, or you can also visit my website at renewalfitcoach.com to learn more and find blogs on more of this type of information. And if you haven't already, please like this video, share it with others who might find it helpful, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet so that you don't miss any future videos. And until the next video, good luck on your health and fitness journey.